a while ago, I did a video about FreeBSD versus Linux. This is kind of one of those videos, but it's not. This is going to be a hot take. This is my opinion of what the difference between FreeBSD and Linux is. Let's talk about it. So, in my view, what really is the difference between Linux and FreeBSD? Well, honestly, not a lot. Philosophy is mainly the difference. I mean, there are some nuanced differences. For instance, FreeBSD is very minimal on setup. Linux comes with loads of stuff out of the box, depending on distribution. But if you say something like... I don't know, a, a really popular distribution, Fedora. Let's say that. Let's say it is. Out of the box, Fedora comes with tons of stuff. And they they put a package manager in so you can add stuff. And you can customise it. It's not really that much different. Most of the tools are uh, the same. Now, what I mean by the same is... They're not written the same, but they do the same thing. So, for instance, CD. It will be a different CD on Linux to what's on FreeBSD. They'll be written differently, but they do the same thing. And, and this happens all over the operating system. So you'll have different kinds of make to, to build stuff, different kinds of config to configure stuff, but they do the same thing. And, of course... If you can use one on one, generally you can use it on the other. So what do I mean by philosophy? Well, the way that FreeBSD runs is that they design the whole operating system, the kernel, the user space, it's all built in one go. And see a little cat paw come up from underneath the door in a minute. On Linux, there is a team that develops the kernel away from the rest of the distribution, the rest of the operating system, and they put in other bits as they see fit, depending on the distribution, depending on what the goal of that distribution is. So, for instance, if it's, we'll use my, my same analogy, if it's Fedora, they're going for a general purpose, all-round kind of operating system, so they'll bundle in the tools that fit that purpose. The tools that are used on that will be similar to the ones that are in FreeBSD, but they've designed it fact, with that in mind as well. So right you've got right the now, entire operating system as that? opposed to well, separate teams doing separate here. bits. Now, <laughs> where it gets slightly confusing is it's kind of what FreeBSD does as well. So you'll have a, a separate team that works on, on the, the kernel. You'll have a separate team that works on the user space. You'll have a separate team that works on packages. A separate team that works on documentation but they're all part of the same organization whereas in linux that doesn't quite work they're, they're not i'm not going to tell you which approach is better because frankly they're, they're probably much of a muchness neither approach is better they're just simply different the other thing the other major thing that is is different is licensing and i'm not going to get into that because that is a, a political hot potato i i don't want to touch that politics not my thing got away from politics years ago don't want to go back to it so it's really down to to you and i mean this is the end user or the administrator of a server or, or whatever your use case is to go with the the os the operating system that is suitable for you not for what somebody else tells you I can sit here and I can say, I like FreeBSD, I like the way it does this, I like the way it does that. I'm so used to using FreeBSD that configuring and, and setting it up and, for want of a better word, hacking it to do what I want it to do is is second knowledge. Is is second knowledge. Is It's like a second language to me. I find it much easier than looking up documentation to do it with Linux. I can accomplish both things with both operating systems, with bar a few exceptions to that rule, 
both operating systems will do both things. So if I wanted to set up a gaming computer, I can do it on FreeBSD, I can do it on Linux. The tools are there to get both jobs done. Honest, I'm not actually liking this. They may be slightly different Why tools, like but they will do the same thing, roughly speaking. Monkey. If I wanted to set up a sure like the theme. video editing I workstation, I can do it on either. Both tools will accomplish the same thing in a different way, but they'll do the same thing. So going back to my point, it's down to you to choose the one that you prefer to use or suits you best. There will inevitably be projects that do one thing better than the other. For instance, FreeBSD is highly geared to providing services, providing servers, providing a service, serving web pages or serving uh, files as a, as a file server. I'm not saying you can't do that with Linux, because you can. In my humble opinion, FreeBSD does it better. It's easier to configure. That doesn't mean that it's better for you. It doesn't mean that it's easier to configure for you. You may be used to using Linux and find it easier to do it on that. The best way of putting this is it's like driving cars. You may prefer a Volkswagen over a Ford, but they both do the same thing. They both get you from A to B. They implement it in different ways, but they both do the same thing. They both accomplish the same thing. It's exactly the same with FreeBSD and Linux. Neither is really better. There will be people that tell you that they are, but it's down to you, as I say, to use the one that you feel more comfortable with, that you feel will do the job better for you. And nobody can knock you for that decision. That's your decision. You make it. Nobody else. You don't have to tell them. You don't have to answer to them. It's your choice. This whole FreeBSD versus Linux versus Mac OS versus Windows versus any other operating system really is a misnomer. It really is a nonsense. As much as I would all like as much as I would like you all to, to try out FreeBSD and and learn about it and, and, and adopt it, that's down to you. If you want to and if you're willing to and you want to learn something different that you haven't used before, do it. And again, the same applies to if you're using FreeBSD and you haven't used Linux and you want to try it. Try it. Why not? What have you got to lose? As long as you don't corrupt any data, you keep backups. What's the issue? I don't... It always has made me chuckle when people pop up in comments and say, oh yeah, but OpenBSD is better or, or NetBSD is better or Arch is better. Is it really? They all do the same thing. They do it and accomplish it in different ways, but they do the same thing. This is almost starting to sound like a rant. It's not supposed to. It's, it's just a, a hot take from my point of view on FreeBSD versus Linux that it's not <laughs> it's it's not a competition you know there is plenty of variety out there use what you are comfortable with i say it time and time again and i'll probably say it more and more often in the future you do you so that's my free bsd versus linux in 2024 you probably won't find this useful it's more of a more of a, a do what you like video <laughs> Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.